Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. Today we've got the real-world highway fuel economy test of the 2021 Mazda 3 Turbo. We're going to head out on the highway, do 50 miles out, 50 miles back, averaging 70 miles per hour to get a realistic fuel economy average for this hot hatch. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a quick look at it. With the 2.5 liter turbocharged engine and all-wheel drive, this is Mazda's sportiest 3 hatchback. I don't know if I'd quite put it in the same camp as the hot hatches like a GTI or definitely not up toward like a Veloster N, something type R, that sort of deal. But it is quick, if a little soft. If you want to see more on it, check the links in the description for our real full review and our sound system test. So why do we do this test? Well, the EPA Highway Fuel Economy test, which gives this Mazda 3 31 miles per gallon, that test only averages 48 miles per hour. We know there are people who take their cars on long extended high speed road trips and would like to know what sort of mile per gallon they could realistically expect from their cars. So to do that, we're gonna head over to the gas station here, fill up, go out, do 100 miles on the highway, come back, fill up at the same pump using the same fueling method, get ourselves a result. A few things to note, ambient temperature today is 36 degrees Fahrenheit. Tire pressures have been set to their door placard 38 front, 36 rear in PSI. And this car is running on winter tires. So we'll go out and take a quick look. I think they're Blizzax, Bridgestone Blizzax, but we'll take a look at what those are. So those tires will result in a slightly lower fuel economy average than you'd get with the stock tires on this car. All right, let's fill it up. Now regarding fuel octane, we are going to use premium only because I know this car has premium in it and it gets more horsepower with premium fuel. And however, it doesn't say anything on the fuel camp and if I were to own this car and I were doing a road trip, I would just use regular gas because why pay for all that power if you're not going to be using it just cruising on the highway? But it is what it is. I know you guys are going to yell at me if I don't use premium, so here we are paying more. Taking a look at the tires do have, yep, Bridgestone Blizzax, Blizzak LM32s. 4.969 gallons going in for our initial fill. Before we actually start the vehicle, we're going to reset our GPS. Also going to reset our trip meter, our average fuel economy, and set the climate control to 73 degrees auto. And we're ready to begin. There are only two drive modes in the Mazda 3 Turbo, regular and sport. We'll just be using that normal setting. We're going to drive over to the highway, it's about half a mile away, and pick up the test from there. The goal of this test is not to hypermile, but rather to drive effectively and as one would on a steady state road trip. We're going to get up to speed, nice and easy here. Set our cruise control to a GPS indicated 72 miles per hour. Our speedometer seems to be dead accurate with our GPS. That's pretty cool to see. So here we are, 72, and we are good to go. Close the sunroof. Initial highway comfort seems pretty good. I don't want to report too much on road noise because we are running these Blizzak winter tires. But wind noise seems to be really good. So we're going to catch up with you at the end of the test, and in the meantime, feel free to watch this time lapse of the entire trip.
tuned to the end of the highway fuel economy test in the Mazda 3 hatch turbo. Honestly, with the winter tires and less than ideal weather conditions, I'm fairly satisfied. We're getting 29.1 according to the vehicle's trip computer. That's two miles per gallon below EPA, but I wouldn't be too surprised if once we get there, fill it up, we might see a little bit higher figure. And like I said, we've got higher rolling resistance with these Blizz Bridgestone Blizzaks and a little bit of water on the road, so that would slightly reduce fuel economy as well. Highway comfort's been good, plenty comfortable in the seat. You've got two-way lumbar adjustment. As I said before, wind noise is really minimal. Overall, a great cruiser and definitely one of the best choices in this class for putting on miles. And that would apply to both this turbocharged motor and the base engine. We're gonna take it nice and easy back to the gas station, fill up same pump with the same fueling method. Our average speed has been 70 miles per hour. One thing interesting that I realized on the highway, if you have the cruise control set and you take your seatbelt off as I did to remove my jacket, the cruise control disables itself and you cannot re-enable the cruise control until you put your seatbelt back on. And I get where they're going with that, but at the same time, it was honestly a little bit more dangerous for me because I just needed to get my jacket off. It's something I do fairly regularly. You get in the car, it's cold, and you drive it along, and then you get warm, you take a jacket off. But because the cruise control wouldn't work, even the radar adaptive cruise control, I then had to sort of modulate the gas as well as steer, as well as take my jacket off. It felt more dangerous to me. It goes along with the other weird Mazda safety feature where it sets the parking brake every time you shut the vehicle off. So when you start it up, put it into drive and start to take off, parking brake is set. Okay, 29.2 on there, 102.2 miles on the GPS, 101.6 on the car's tropometer, so not too far off. Let's fill it up. 3.196 gallons going in. 102.2 divided by 3.196 gives us 32 miles per gallon according to our calculation. Now, I also spoke with Chris up at the Topher and he got better than his vehicle readout for over the time he had the car as well. So I think that's probably pretty close to fair. If I had to give uh, a specific number on these winter tires, kind of splitting the difference between the car's trip computer, our calculation, and EPA, I would give it 31. I'd be inclined to round down, but that uh, do with that information what you wish. But I'm saying 31 miles per gallon with winter tires here in the Mazda 3 hatch turbo. Now saying 31 miles per gallon times 12.7 size of the fuel tank gives us an effective cruising range 393 miles. Not that far, but certainly adequate. I have no doubt that the Mazda 3, especially on all season tires, it's stock tires, would have no difficulty getting its EPA 31 miles per gallon on the highway. Nicely done, Mazda. So thank you all so much for watching. If you want to see more on the Mazda 3, check the links in the description for our sound system test as well as our full review. And we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.